Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the United States and specifically why it's the place to be for digital nomads. And firstly, it comes as no surprise that such a large nation with an equally large prominence on the global stage in a plethora of markets exhibits limitless potential for investors, workers and relocators from across the globe. Today we'll be looking specifically at digital nomads and how the US presents itself as one of the top options for remote workers from all corners of the world, not just for the benefits to be found from relocating, but also how the nation is providing incentives for this category of worker to attract new digital nomads to the region. First of all, if you're unsure as to what a digital nomad is, we'll clear this up now. Essentially, it's a remote worker with no fixed physical workplace uh, and this permits the freedom of movement while also allowing them to re remain productive in their work. Now, this sort of worker will use their computer or phone to undertake the majority of their daily tasks, allowing them to work wherever, as long as at the end of the day they are able to connect to the internet. This is an increasingly popular lifestyle, especially following the pandemic, because our desire for change has never been tested as much as it has in the past year. And now, with borders reopening and just last week, the borders between the US and the UK having been reopened. Uh, one of the most important links in the Western world has been rejuvenated and now flows of people are steadily being facilitated uh, in their climb and rise back to pre-pandemic levels once again. Now, this global reopening and relaxation of legislation, with the US and the UK just as one of the many examples, it could be what you need to take the plunge into the digital nomad way of living, and perhaps the following information will help make the US your top choice. So, we will commence with the three visa types that allow different people to gain legal employment rights within the US, acting as a springboard to digital nomad status. So, first of all, you have H visas. And this is the umbrella term for work visas in the US. Uh, there are different subcategories depending on your qualifications and educational background. And in terms of becoming a digital nomad, this is most likely the base level visa you could apply for uh, to try and work in the US in this fashion. The next are uh, I visas. And this is an interesting option as they are visas for foreign press and media. So this means that if you work for a media company overseas, application for this visa type is allowed and would grant you the opportunity to not only live but also work in the US. Many digital nomads have a job reliant on sharing content with audiences online and so those of you who are already involved in journalism or media can gain access to the US digital nomad scene under this category of visa. The final type is called O visas and this is more comparable to an artist or special talent visa. Uh, like we've mentioned before in Argentina on one of our other videos on this uh, YouTube channel and on our blog as well. Now, this, while less accessible, as it depends on some external recognition of your expertise, presents the best opportunity for integrating yourself into the digital nomad lifestyle. This visa covers almost all fields, and so the net is cast rather wide for professionals who are high up and well recognised in their field and looking to access US markets for work and residency. So if you do find that you qualify for one of the above visas and after some time end up in the US, you may be wondering what the actual benefits are of relocating there uh, to become a digital nomad. And you don't need to panic because there are plenty of reasons to support this choice, including that the US is a huge country providing endless locations to explore and work from, which for a digital nomad is obviously a huge plus. As well as this, the US has a massive roaming economy. This is to say the number of businesses equipped to deal with people who make money on the move and also the people who are actually doing it. And uh, this roaming economy is booming. So to take some prominent examples, Airbnb and Uber are some corporations that span the nation as well as the globe, as I'm sure many of us are familiar with. Yet within the US specifically, they permit the short term and often spontaneous travel and accommodation plans that digital nomads may have to make or may wish to make, which leaves you secure in the thought that a roof over your head is never far away. So if you're looking to establish yourself as a digital nomad in the US and you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us today. You'll be able to see all of our information on the screen now and also in the description of this video. And while you're down there, why not leave a comment and also like and subscribe. And uh, until then, thank you very much for listening and we will see you next week. Bye bye.